All right, you're on. You got this, honey. <clears throat> For the idiots that think this is fake weight, it wouldn't like curve like bit. that. Back up a little bit. Right. So we get some even ground. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's show them the ground in our yard <laughs> so that people don't. Oh, but Ricky, why didn't the waves yeah, bounce? Maybe they don't know about like physics and stuff, but sand absorbs impact. So it's not going to bounce here. Okay. And then I'm not going to let you do any more weight than that, honey. It was too, <laughs> too scary. So. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, that shouldn't have been hard. But when you're doing it in a sand pit, we're talking about incredible ankle stability. Yeah. So we gotta show the weights, of course. Oh yeah. Now we got a lot of new subscribers. A lot of people think you fake weights, which why if I was gonna use fake weights, wouldn't I use more weight? Right? Two and a half. See, it's sucking the ground, so I can't pull it off. Uh, 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 25, 10, 50, 35, 45. You can contact this company and see if they make fake bumper plates. Pretty sure there's not a big market for that. Well, but on a bright note, guys, I was out here with my little Puffingtons and we were doing walking lunges. And I was, uh, I was cleaning and pressing the weight to get over my head. I was like, I'm going to be limited. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the last thing I want to do, what's more dangerous than this, is cleaning and pressing a weight above my head to catch it on my back. I mean, this is just inching controlled. Is it sketch? Depends. Depends if you have adequate huh? hip mobility, <laughs> hamstring mobility, huh? <laughs> shoulder mobility. <laughs> if you don't, and you're one of these people, hey, you're probably gonna hurt your back. If you got no, no shoulder and pec mobility, probably gonna hurt your shoulders. But uh, my man, King Arthur invented this lift, and boy oh boy, he struck gold. I think you've got to think about the physics here too, guys. So we got a 315. The easiest part of the lift is no straps, no hook grip. I mean, I don't do hook grip, you could, I guess. No mixed grip, but behind the back, explosive, explosive behind the back deadlift to uh, <laughs> Lee Haney's coined behind the back upright row, right? To uh, weighted stretch, weighted dynamic stretch. I mean, guys, I don't know about, I'm gonna be able to, what, are, what birds are the ones that stick their heads in the sand to hide? Oh, I don't remember. Flamingos? I don't think so. Doesn't a bird stick their head in the sand? When they <laughs> see an enemy, they go like this? I don't know. To hide? I'll be able to do that soon. <laughs> All right, and then just again, our sandy 
yard so people can see. Hey guys, this isn't no CrossFit gym. There ain't no platforms out here. This is, this is rugged. This is homegrown Florida soil, <laughs> right? Yep. This ain't stable. Look at everything else in Florida, it ain't stable, right? Okay. Right? <laughs> but I don't know what more there is to say, really. Uh, you got any thoughts, Mama? No, I think I said my piece. I get more upset about those comments than you do. Well, it's funny because uh, YouTube is a big fan of Sticky Ricky lately, and they've been really pushing my videos on the algorithm. And it's, I know when a video is doing well, when I get like nothing but like, haters. just, oh, just haters, chugging haterade. And that's why I won't be in your videos. Cause people are so mean to you. I can't. The internet's a rough place. I'll tell you, you know, I get the funny <laughs> videos flexing in front of mama and all that. And people are like, oh, this guy, <laughs> this guy's going to snap and kill his wife. Like mama. Nope. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hurt a fly. Nope. Especially when it hurt my little Puffingtons. <laughs> right. Yep. All I'll hurt is my spine. <laughs> okay. Don't do that. <laughs> no, I'm not. But in all honesty, <laughs> I take my spine health extremely serious. I was going to make this for a different video, but we might as well throw this gem right now. I actually bought a 45 degree back extension to put right next to the bed because I'm taking my spinal erector health to the next level. So when I wake up, I do back extensions, high rep, no weight, right? Get a pump, get a pump set of 30 or 40 pumped erectors. And then I go to bed before I go to bed. I'll do the same thing. I hit a couple sets of back extensions, pumped erectors. We're talking extreme blood flow. Guys, there was actually a study that was out. Don't ask me what study, when or where, but it's a study and it exists. And uh, it really does. You can look it up, I guess, somewhere. Uh, they did a study on average uh, Johnny bodybuilders versus uh, Joey powerlifters. You know, because powerlifters, uh, they were bigger, they were stronger. They had bigger squats and deadlifts, of course. But they tested both the uh, the low back strength of both Johnny bodybuilders and Joey powerlifters. And interestingly enough, lower back strength, considering that the powerlifters were stronger at squatting and deadlifting, had they had, they were equal, their lower back health. <laughs> strength, that is. So it goes to show that like if you're deadlifting, your squat gets better, it's because your hamstrings, your glutes, your form, your breathing, your bracing, all that other stuff is contributing to a bigger and better deadlift. But not so much like strong erector spinae. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I take this very seriously. I work these deep, deep muscles. I want big anacondas in my back. That's all I think about. I woke up this morning at 6 a.m. I couldn't sleep. And I was just thinking like, I was trying to think of, because I had like anxiety. I was like, what can I think of to make me happy? Happy thoughts go back to sleep. And I was thinking of these big, thick anacondas on my back. And us, right? Chloe and I? Of course. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Just throw it in there for us. Of course. Not a lot of girls. <laughs> uh, I think we're done here. Okay. I think we're, hey, no, don't turn it off. Oh. Are you still rolling? Yeah. We got to head out. Mama's got a chiropractor appointment. Yeah. She was rear ended <laughs> while she was parked. At a red light. Well, oh, I was just stopped, stopped, stopped at a red light. Stopped at a red light. It was rear ended. Yeah. Listen, you guys want to talk about danger in today's society? Driving. You think the King Arthur lift is going to hurt you? No. You know what's going to hurt you? Driving. That's mm -hmm. what's going to hurt you. Mama's lucky she's not paralyzed. Yeah. Your dick. Your, your dick. <laughs> your dick's in shambles. Oh my gosh. It's a Freudian slip. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your discs are in shambles. Yeah, well, anyways. But you know what? Her dad was a world-renowned scientist. Yeah. Brilliant True. mind. And uh, she had back problems from gymnastics as a, as a youngin. And her dad advised her never to get back surgery. It's the worst thing you can do because best case scenario, your back feels a little better. Worst case scenario, your back's effed for life. And even if it's better for a little bit, it's like the long-term It's no guarantee. I got a buddy who got are... back surgery and he got it. I mean, it was... 15 years ago or something and he still like never wants to squat never wants to deadlift terrified it's like well you had your back repaired well, why not well what? and i'm sure there are good surgeons and i'm sure there are situations where it's needed but a lot of times it's better not to do it yeah you know what or you to do try everything else you know what you do you uh, you get some yoga stretches in yeah. right 
Yeah, you don't sit as much. Mm -hmm. Right? So you get some strong glutes. You get a back extension next to your bed. You get them the hips firing. Right? So you take that pressure off of those discs. Listen, I'm no personal. <laughs> You're no scientist. Personal scientist. <laughs> but uh, take it from Mama. <laughs> My personal experience as yeah, a case right. study. I think we're done. How, how long is this video normally? 10 minutes Far and 31 too. seconds. That's, that's a lot of ad revenue. All right. <laughs> <laughs>